Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Results for as Spain in our console of the sea campaign. Last, where we left off, we have uh, just got out of a war. Well, I mean, we were, we were fighting a few different wars, and um, we've been quite busy with things, actually. So we're trying to get some money now, and we're punishing our armies. I'm actually, I'm going to have a revolt in uh, Egypt, so I'm going to move some troops out that way. Uh, let's keep you there in Valencia. I'm going to move you guys to Alicante. Let's move some troops to Egypt real fast. I wonder if I could actually uh, do some stuff to Egypt. Right now. We have a succession. Gabriel I, the Thrust tomorrow, the 336 ruler. So what uh, What are we making now? We're making 8, 8, and 12. Um, I could probably change this. Probably balance it out. Well, I mean, we're going to get we're gonna get a um, military day group. So actually, we might be able to just keep, keep our points. Let's see. What's our military tech? Or what's our combat with? 30? Did we get a military tech increase? Yeah. Combat with increase 32. I think we could do a little bit of development, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Global Center Trade. Why is our spread so low? Hmm. I don't know. Quit low. Hmm. And okay, so anyway, we're we're go so we're going to take out um we're gonna deal with that whole dummy at a revolt thing over here in Egypt because we're gonna get a revolt. Uh, then we need to get our institution. That is uh, something that needs to happen. We're no longer excommunicated after just years. Years. Our ruler was literally alive for like years. We are no longer. Excommunicated, holy shit. This is absolutely insane. Um, now we can actually get some good relations with the Pope Man. And I think we're going to invade Milan. I don't... I'm not actually so sure just yet. Damn it, Austria would join this guy. Let's see. We got a uh, 225 consort. Attitude towards enemies, Milanese, diplomatic reputation, Austrian men power. That's a war. 322, Carlos. Nah, we'll name him Felipe. Yeah, I'd like to attack and destroy Milan. That'd be cool. I don't think I can get Austria to break his alliance, though. Almost. Um, if I had a CB on Austria, I'd be able to do it. I could get, like, a claim really fast. We possibly could invade a little more of Egypt or vassalize him so that we can use him to reconquer a lot of stuff here in, uh, let's see, what was the peace deal? You know what? Why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and actually conquer, um, let's go and vassalize the Mamluks, I think. Let's take a look. Where's our navy? Well, first, our navy's getting up to full capacity, really. These forts are expensive to pay for 12 forts. If I could get rid of some, really, that would do me some good. I don't think I necessarily need this one in Granada anymore. It's going to send me a lot of money over time. Napoli, I think, is necessary. I don't have anything in North Africa. And I do have one in Egypt. I think I might get rid of the one in Cyprus. And, you know, actually, I do like the one in Dalmatia because we do want to attack Ragusa one of these days. Um, we're actually probably going to invade. I think we're going to invade. Let's vassalize the Mamluks. And then we might actually declare war either on the Ottomans or on Tunisia for a reconquest. We're probably going to take over Fazan, and then we are going to probably fully... Um, we're probably going to have to annex Tunisia, I think. Son of a bitch, really? I still can't... Hmm. I still have too much unrest here. We, we have a few points. Let's go and buy this down. We already, we already have a national rest guy anyway. We also do have this diplomatic relation or re diplomatic reputation guy. Mm. Okay, because I don't want any revolts. Don't want revolts. Okay. So let's let's force this guy to break his alliance. Let's get a claim on the Mamluks here. I want uh, to vassalize the Mamluks. Let's kill Milan. 
Let's have him break it. Let's have Austria break his alliance with Milan. He'll do it if we have. Is that worth taking? Um, nope, our legitimacy is down for some reason. Let's grab that. Spent 500 points on that, but we have a surplus of military points, so we're doing okay. France is getting wrecked. Can't threaten war with you because we have a truce. Apparently the Mamluks are... Yeah, they, we have a good expansion against them, that's interesting. So yeah, so we use the Mamluks to reconquer some stuff around here, because this is going to weaken the Ottomans significantly. We still need about 3,200 ducats for this. Um... Let's see, can I actually go to the... This Grand Manalpi Charter's here. I could recruit a minister. Uh, grant an admiral ship. We do need an admiral. We have 54.9 armor tradition. Declines by 1.16 a year. Our next idea group is likely going to be... I'm thinking offensive. Defensive is nice, though. The morale. Attrition for enemies, reinforce speed, fort defense, and fort maintenance. That, that saves a lot of money. Land maintenance, land leader maneuver. This morale of army is plus 15%. We don't have any discipline. We really don't have any discipline as, as um, Aragon, but having a lot of morale would probably not be bad. We had that bad modifier for a while. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get the, let's get this contribution here. Um, I think we're doing relatively okay in money, actually. Alexandria is, you know, controlled by the Memlux, which is unfortunate. Or by the um, Ottomans. That'd be interesting. Yeah, one of these days we'll invade Ragusa. Ragusa is actually also allied to um, Austria, so we'd, we'd want to find a way to break that. I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd be willing to break the Austrian alliance if it does mean that I can, you know, completely destroy, like, Ragusa. You know, I could take out Milan, things like that. I'm willing to do it. It's just, it'd be unfortunate because Austria actually is a really good ally. He's been with me for some time, um, just to be fair. We want to become papal controller, so we're going to want... We may even want to actually ally the papal state. He's allied to Hungary, Ragusa, Augsburg, and Portugal. I don't actually mind getting alliance with him. It's, it's probably not a bad idea. So, let's get a claim on Austria. I can force him to break his alliance with Milan, and then we invade. Son of a fuck, man. Really? We don't even have positive prestige? Jesus Christ. I don't know. Some things about this game I feel like this campaign I'm not doing very well on. Might just be me, though. Um, we're not even at plus one stability? Wow. And we need to have 75 prestige to declare an empire. This absolutism is going to help us out for the administrative efficiency. Okay, so let's kill this guy real fast. God damn it, Commonwealth, you bastard. So he is declaring war. He's declaring war. He's declaring his own war. The thing is, is, is I want to declare my war. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I'm just saying. It's kind of annoying. I want to, I want to be in charge of the peace deal because. Oh, if they, they promise us territorial gains. Alright, fine, you bastard. But Jesus Christ, man, you picked the fucking worst time. I literally just declared this war. You asshole. Alright, so we're gonna hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Let's go to the burgers, I think. 
Um, yeah, let's, well, I don't know. We'll grab, we'll just grab our own general. That was interesting. Um, let's grab, let's grab these troops. I was gonna invade. We don't, we don't have positive prestige. We can't do that whole Milan thing anyway, so. Let's just vassalize this guy first. Let's kill this dude. And then we'll invade Egypt. Before we do that. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna take out Tunis first, but. Okay. There we go. Let's see. As the army becomes a way to earn a livelihood for an increasing number of our subjects, the cities that house army installations and barracks are starting to grow under the supervision of army engineers and renovators. Sweet. Regimental city. In case we have a significant amount of troops in Egypt. And... Um, Significant amount of enemy forces. Our supply limit is not great. Uh, I don't really have time. Don't really have time for these rebels. Fortunately. No legal heir here. He became an elected monarchy, but he's got no heir. Interesting. Why don't we go ahead and have some spy network power in, I think, Tunisia and the Ottomans. Let's come back from the Memlux. We don't need that. Am mm, I willing to pay 15% for this? Or, well, 14%. Maybe. Oh, you bastards! There's my transports, fuck. Shit. That is unfortunate. That's gonna hurt us, because we're, we're not gonna be able to transfer troops around as easily. Hmm. Alright, let's get some reinforcements to Dalmatia. If we can get there fast enough. It's uh, not necessarily the best defensive terrain, but we'll have to do. Fuck, dude. Already, Egypt's already been taken. We still have not taken this fort. Holy Jesus Christ. Mm. No, you know what? I'm not going to take this. I'm going to hold off on this. We're just going to we're just going to do development. That's that's the best thing. Holy shit, that is a huge alliance. Gusa, this merchant republic, he's a, dude, his trade league is huge. You know, we almost actually lost this battle. Interesting. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, what the hell? The Mamluks still control Arabia? That's interesting. I did not I was not aware of that. Uh Yeah, holy shit. That makes things way more difficult. I thought all he had left was Egypt. Hmm. Okay, so my troops here are outnumbered now. I've got no way to safely get reinforcements to them. Well, I do have this fleet. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's go over here to the Aegean. I'm really not actually sure if I should attack anybody here. He is, um, we, we could almost be a tech level ahead of him, actually. Uh, we've engaged a lot of ships here. I'm gonna with withdraw to Crete. And we're gonna heal up for a second, and then I think we may actually re-engage. Let's see if we can take Alexandria. We've got troops waiting orders here. I'd like to get him to North Africa, which, uh, is doable. I'd like to get to Tunisia. Okay, let's see. Yeah, if we can't use the navy, then we'll have to we'll have to figure something else out. Ah, uh, you bastards! Fuck. Let's withdraw the transports. We'll leave the Kurgs fighting. Okay, so we took a huge hit there. 
God damn it, man. We lost six Kericks. We're going to be drained on manpower for sure. It's going to be painful. Let's take that. We're using... Um, Charge inventory, uh, leather cannons. Let's see. There's, there is a discipline advisor there at half cost. I'm making some money. Don't necessarily want to, you know. God damn. Okay, so we retook this. Should I go for Cairo? I could go for Fazan. Um. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I wouldn't mind taking this on. Let's let's see if we can do that. Get your fucking ass back here, Tunis. Piece of shit. There we go. Mm hmm. There we go. Let's get to Kef. Okay, so Dalmatia will fall. What the fuck is the... What is this guy up to, actually? Where is he battling the Ottomans? I don't get it. He's got 115 discipline with 7.5 morale. Holy shit, that is actually a lot. I'll give him that. Man, that's quite a bit. He's fucking Mamluks, dude. Oh, yeah. No, the Mamluks are way too strong even to vassalize. All right, we're just gonna... I'm just, I might just take some money. I don't even want the territory. Fuck the territory. I don't even care. Yeah. Fuck that. Whatever. We have 40% war score against this guy. What's my contribution? Yeah, 49%. His is 50. So really, we're, we're pretty split evenly. Let's invade, let's invade Tunisia. Let's get everything here. Um, I'm not sure if we can necessarily kick him out of... Not sure if we can kick him out of, um... The hell am I trying to say? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I can't deal with any revolts right now. So, Dalmatia's fallen. It took Seert. Let's go for Yerba. See, this new template's gonna be 28, 4. I kinda wanna kick it up to 30. Possibly. We, we're probably gonna need to make more money for that. Don't think we can quite afford that yet. Okay, so conquering, yeah, conquering the rest of this guy isn't gonna make any sense. But we don't need it for, for Consul of the Sea anyway. What we do need is still Selenik, Constantinople, Dubrovnik, out of Vinegar. Uh, Tunis and Tripoli. So, attacking Tunisia in particular is, is what's going to make a lot of sense. I'm going to actually go ahead and focus on Diplo. We're getting some free manpower, which is pretty fucking nice. I could use manpower. The more manpower we have, the longer we can stay at war consistently. You bastards. Ugh. No, just do that. We have it. We have excess admin points anyway. So Great Britain's still Catholic, huh? Hmm. OK, 
Okay, so we took Yerba. We took Tanisia as well. Let's get a full occupation of everything. Why have we not actually annexed Sirt yet? I'm not too sure. No, we need the money. I can't, I can't, yeah. Can't make a generous donation. We need the cash. Because we're trying to get our institution still. Let's go for some facts. And we're not replenishing fast enough for this. Okay, so we're about to take Cairo. Okay, so Fazan. Fazan will cede Sirt to me. Permanent claims. The Ottomans have permanent claims there. You know, I'd actually, it's been a long time since I've done an Ottoman campaign. I'd actually be curious about doing one. I haven't done one in a long time. It's probably since, um, I want to say at least 2017, if not 2016. I think I did a Sultan of Rum campaign. It was one of my first Ottoman campaigns ever. Alright, let's wrap this up. I may be able to get back Dalmatia for myself. What I'm really curious about is actually going after, um, Greece. I have permanent claims there. That'd be kind of cool. Why don't we go for Tunis? We have this army here. We'll hang out. We'll hang you out over here. Uh, well, yeah, you go to Tripoli, actually. Um, let's go reinforce the Bay of Alexandria. Let's see. So Tunis peaced out. Tunis will cede Constantine, Kef, Bezert, Tugort to Spain. We'll annul old treaties. That's right, you bitch! That's what you get, Tunisia, you fucker. Alright, cool. So the Commonwealth is paying off here. I like it. I'm liking this. Now we invade Greece and we get back Dalmatia for ourselves. Either that or we attack Ragusa. But everybody would join. I may be able to force this guy. We still have actually, we don't have positive prestige, which is crazy. We still do not have positive prestige. We lost the Siege of Cairo. Cairo was given to us by the Commonwealth. And yeah, that, that would be nice to have. We just got defeated. Our galleons just got destroyed there. So now we have no offensive um, offensive force. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and move you guys to North Africa then. God damn it, man. Dower Seer, you piece of shit. Where the hell am I artillery? Here. We go there. Okay, so you guys you guys go to Bezert. You guys go to Kabilia. Breath of a new trust Mara baby revitalizes the people of Spain. Cool. Okay. Oh shit, Ottomans will seek Nikbolu, Kirkula C, Tin, and Lower Dawn and Commonwealth. Ottomans will seed Corfu to Spain. That's cool. To Corfu. Nice. I like that. It's still it's actually Greek and Catholic, which is pretty cool. That's gonna give us quite a bit of a base to attack Spain with. Or to attack Greece with. <laughs> attack Spain with. Alright, let's get some troops back to uh, Valencia. Um, let's core all this. And do we have any revolts? Independence for Greece. Uh, hmm. This is still taking forever. Okay, so we're going to keep troops in North Africa for now. We have most of the army there. We could still make the Delta. Scotland entered into military alliance with France. We can still make the Delta a... Um, state. I think I, I may actually do that. Because I think I want to give these to the burgers. Alexandria? Yeah, it's not that important, actually. So... It doesn't do anything for me. So we're making 62 bucks from trade. Advisors are so expensive as is state maintenance. Yeah, attacking, attacking and defeating Ragusa in that alliance is going to be a bitch. 
I break your alliance with Milan. Okay. Which means if we invade Milan, we fight France, Mainz, Brandenburg, and Ragusa. Austria has a truce Milan, so you will not join that. So we have to fight France to take over Milan. I'm not really opposed to that. That actually doesn't sound like that big of a deal. Um, calling the Commonwealth makes less sense. Oh, shit! You're allied with Ragusa. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. We keep troops in Dalmatia. Okay, yeah, I think we- you know what? We actually probably will attack this guy. We're probably gonna seize Dubrovnik. Just because? Other than that, we're gonna vassalize Ragusa. I might be able to vassalize him in that war, actually. He is- he is Catholic. The thing is, is Milan is reformed. So we're actually probably gonna take less aggressive expansion. That's pretty nice. Damn, that actually works out really nice then. So we're gonna take over all of Greece first, and then we take uh, what we need from... from Anatolia. Yeah... Attacking, attacking France should not be that big of a deal. We're just gonna wait for these cores to be done, and then we'll invade Milan. We'll kill Ragusa. I might be able to vassalize him, to be honest. That'd be, that'd be cool. It's gonna be double cost. It's gonna be double cost, but... I think that's okay. I don't have to co-belligerent him. I think, I think we'd be just fine, just like that. Then Milan will fall. Do we need other stuff from the Ottomans? I'd like to take Chios. Let's see what else we can grab. Wouldn't mind taking a national tax modifier. We do need more money. We're not making enough money. We actually have to get more manufacturers. The thing is, is I haven't even got my, my institution yet. It's been over 20 years. Okay, so we can get this now. That means we can take these. Okay, then we're gonna go for... So, I'm leaning towards either... I'm actually almost leaning towards quality. Infantry combat ability, cavalry combat ability, the ship durability, the morale of navies is nice. Naval attrition, artillery combat ability, the discipline there. Defensive is cool for the, for the morale. The thing is, though, is without anything else, I'm not sure the morale is actually gonna help us that much. We only have 5.18 morale. Like, the Commonwealth is, like, way more. Discipline makes much more sense in the late game. Not to mention, offensive gives me land enforcement modifier. I think that's what I need. I think I need land enforcement modifier. We have a free merchant, apparently. I did not know that. Let's see if we can transfer trip power here. Damn, I got us a bit. That was cool. Okay, so as soon as this truce is over, we're gonna attack that fucker, and that's in 1633. We got 13 years. Okay, and then Milan, we invade you, and we take out Ragusa. Brandenburg. Brandenburg is nothing. France really is nothing. France is nothing. And then, um... Uh, Frankfurt's nothing. Mines is nothing. Yeah. I think we can actually invade most of this pretty easily. Um... I think we'll be just fine. Depends for Tunis. Depends for Naples. Don't I accept Neapolitan culture? It's kind of weird. How can I how can I get Neapolitan separatists if I accept the culture? It's kind of strange. I don't know. I don't know. Statesman? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep him. I mean, I don't know. Lose prestige, but it's like whatever. Who cares? What's our uh, what's our tradition? Fifty one point eight. Yeah, why actually, why are you defending Milan again? They're guaranteed. They're guaranteed by France. Liège, Burgundy, Scotland. I wonder if it's actually just easier to just attack 
France and then go after Milan separately. Eh, it's fine. We'll, we'll just we'll just merge it all into one. That's fine. We don't have a navy though. We didn't. We don't have a navy. I want like forty carrots possibly, or maybe even fifty. Yeah, forty is probably where it's at. We need two thousand ducats for that. Let's so draft these ships for now. I'm just doing batches of five, I guess. Or ten. Ten. That's what it is. Whoa! That trade efficiency changes things. Holy shit. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's take a look here. Where do we make the most money? Yeah, it looks like Sevilla by far does give us this gives us the most profit. We make a lot of money from protecting trade there. Because Genoa gets us the most income. Uh taking Fidenze would be nice because that's the center of trade in the Genoa node. See, these ones aren't. These are in the Venetian mode. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to move you to Dalmatia. I'm going to keep one army here. <clears throat> you go to Dalmatia. Uh, let's actually make these conform to template. We're going to hire more artillery, I think. Okay, that's expensive as shit. Yeah, I just, I don't know, we're, we're strapped on cash. We need money. Even 30 ducats a month, that's nothing. It's not, it's not enough for what we want to do. It's just not enough. Okay. Okay, so this is it's not going too bad. Still plenty to do. We've got a lot more to do. It's only 1621 though. Commonwealth has a, has a disputed succession. If he dies, we get a noble on his throne. That'd be pretty sweet, dude. That'd be pretty cool. We'll see what happens. Great Britain still has that disputed succession. He's only 35, though. Ottomans declared war in Hungary. Hungary has no allies, really. So, this guy's expanded into Bulgaria. That's kind of cool. Fine, we'll give you guys access. Who are you fighting anyway? I don't know. Is that worth somebody? See, caravan power, then we get an extra merchant. I'm thinking about, I'm gonna put the other merchant in this, unless there's somewhere else he should be. Um, I think that's probably fine. That did not change much. Okay. We don't have a lot of power in Constantinople. So 
So we're just building a bunch of Garricks here. I could use more. For now, I think, though, we're going to focus on the armies. Uh, let's send you over here real quick. We'll build you over here. I am curious. I wonder if this force could take on peasants. Let's find out. And I guess that's a no. <laughs> that's good to know. Holy shit, we need a thousand to upgrade that to the template. Damn. That's crazy. See, recruitment time minus 10%. I do actually wonder if recruitment time acts passively. Ooh. Olivares. The Duke of Olivares led the Spanish government between 1621 and 1643 under King Philip V. Let's see. He was a devious and cunning leader who involved Spain in the Thirty Years' War alongside the Imperials and had the war with Holland renewed. This proved disastrous and precipitated Spanish decline, with succession secession of both Catalonia, reunited in 1652, and Portugal in 1640. So we're going to need more transports. Okay. Well, um, so what do we need more? Do we need the Navy or do we need the Army? Because we really don't have money to support either. It's kind of crazy. Well, we're going to prepare for this for this war. It's out of there. Uh, let me turn that down a bit. <clears throat> test, test, one, two. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're in the next episode. We're going to attack Milan. We're going to kill all of Milan. Independence of guarantee by France. And then we're going to fight Ragusa. Ragusa's here. We're going to kill Ragusa. This is what is going to occur. Yes. I've got one army in France. The Navy is probably not going to help me out too much. Unfortunately. Yeah. But we can invade it. We can at least, at the very minimum, invade Ragusa, Milan. I Actually, I don't have any troops at the ready in Milan. That's true. Because I, I have all the troops ready in Ragusa. Hmm. Okay, then you guys go to Ferrara then. So we're going to have to kill Milan first. Okay, and then Ragusa will have to come later. And then France. France will be over here. We'll kill you there. I could use more men. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to have more. So you go back here. Oh no, you stay you stay in Ferrara. I'm gonna move these transports here. Okay, so it's 1624 January. Milan just went to war with somebody. Brandenburg and Frankfurt aren't going to join. France and Ragusa are going to be the only problems. Okay, that's perfect then. That's perfect. We'll kill Milan really fast. 
We'll move for Ragusa. Just get that done with really quick. He's not a worth anybody. And then we'll focus on France for the most part. Um, Burgundy. I'd actually, I wouldn't mind attacking Burgundy either. He's a member of the Empire, though, so it's going to be a problem. We've got about 100,000 manpower. We've got some money coming in, so... Not too bad. All right. That's going to be for the next episode, though. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting us on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.